What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Here in today's episode, I wanted to do a rapid fire review is what I'm gonna go ahead and call it. This is a review for the video game Ghostbusters The Spirits Unleashed. I did a reaction video of the uh, first trailer of this video game and I thought it looked pretty interesting. And I'm also a fan of Ilphonic and their work, uh, especially the Friday the 13th game. I spent countless, countless hours playing that game and had a lot of enjoyment, even with all the flaws that that game had. So when I heard that they were doing a Ghostbusters game, saw the initial trailer, I was a little reserved, but I finally decided to give it a shot. I purchased the game. I dove into it and I've been playing it for about a week now and I've got some stuff I'd like to share with you guys on it and give you guys my overall thoughts. So before we go a little bit deeper, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out the description box below. You guys will find my Teespring store there. You'll find Arcadian, Fantastic, Goat's Milk Soap, Beard Oils, Body Sprays, you name it. There's a men's line, a women's line. And if you use my code JeremyPOV10, you'll save 10% off your order today. Like I said, all that info is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and dive into this review. So Ghostbusters, The Spirits Unleashed is a four verse one game. Uh, one character plays as the ghost and four others play as the Ghostbusters. Like I said, this is a game from Ilphonic, best known for Friday the 13th. Uh, I love that game. Uh, it had a lot of issues. I'm not going to say it was some master piece of a video game, but I spent countless hours in it. I absolutely loved it. Loved playing as Jason. Loved playing as counselors. Me, my brother, a bunch of friends, we'd get on every day after work. I dumped countless hours into it, and I was absolutely heartbroken when all the rights issues happened with the Friday the 13th franchise. We ended up not getting the the uh, Jason X model. We did not get the spaceship level. Like there was so much fun content that was coming out. And that was what I really appreciated was with the Friday 13th game, you bought the game and there was so much free content updates. They fixed it and they really got to the game, the game to a, a point where it was much more playable. And it was just, it was super enjoyable and a lot of fun, a lot of fun for an online game. And when I saw they were making a Ghostbusters game, I had high hopes. As a team, they really put a lot of love and care into the Friday 13th franchise, and I had a feeling they would do the same when it came to the Ghostbusters. And I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. I grew up with it, man. I had the Ghostbusters house that was about as tall as me as I was when a kid, when I was a kid, and I had the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 car, and I, I, you name it, I had it. So I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. I absolutely love the, the movies, the television series, the old cartoon. So seeing this game, uh, it was something I knew I was going to want to dive into. Finally got around to it about a week ago, and I've been playing for a week, and I've got a lot of good things to say. The game is a lot of fun. It is, it is an absolute blast. It is addicting, and I absolutely love being a ghost in it. I will preface it that it does have a bit of a learning curve when it comes to learning the different ghosts and the best way to approach things. And playing as a Ghostbuster, it can be difficult, especially if you go against somebody as a ghost that knows what they're doing. If they know what they're doing and you as the Ghostbusters, as a team, are not working cohesively, the ghost is going to get one over on you. It's going to win. You know, Ghostbusters is not a game where one Ghostbuster can, you know, do it all unless you're playing against somebody that's never played as the ghost, really. So it does have some challenge to it. There's a bit of a learning curve, but I really think it it's, it's a fun game. You can jump into it. You can learn how to be a Ghostbuster, how to be a ghost, fairly quickly and over time get used to it and and get better at it and i've just i've been having such a blast with it so far as far as polish on the game i actually found that it was much more polished than uh i guess i could say anticipated i was a bit worried you know obviously with the way friday the 13th came out i had my concerns but you know you can tell the studio behind it has really cracked down and making sure that they're putting out a polished product you know, some glitches here and there, especially when you're playing as a ghost. I glitched through the floor a couple times, but immediately got back into the level. And basically the only thing it did for me was get me out of a scenario with the Ghostbusters. But, you know, there were some small glitches here and there. Nothing game-breaking that I experienced. I had it freeze once on me in the last week uh, when it was loading a level. Uh, but other than that, I had to reboot it. I haven't had anything else. I have not had a ton of glitches, issues, freezing. The game itself has been playing really, really well, and nothing has occurred that has taken me out of the experience or the fun that I am having within the world. Now, I will say there are some downsides with the game, 
Right now, I believe the game is $40, $39.99. I got it on sale for Black Friday for $29.99, which I think is a great price for it. But it is a little short on content. There's only five maps, I believe. And as of right now, there's four or five ghost tiers. And within each ghost tier, there's different, basically, models of those ghosts. So, like, the first ghost you get is kind of like a Slimer-esque. And as you level that particular ghost up, the fourth level of it is actually Slimer. And then from there, there's a ghost that's more of like a bruiser. He's more slow, but he can take on the Ghostbusters a bit more one-on-one. -on -one, uh, and he's a bit harder to get wrapped up and put in a trap. So I've been playing as that one. And, and each one definitely has its own play style. But ultimately, there is a bit of a lack of content with the game. So I'm very hopeful. I know there are plans that there will be new content coming out. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that we start to get that here soon and they start to roll out new levels, new uh, ghosts, and, and, and new features. What I really like about the game is there's a little bit of a story built into it. Mostly goes around with, you know, you go out, you complete some online missions, or you can play against CPU bots. Once you level up to a certain point, you go back to the uh, firehouse and a cutscene will play, and you have to do that before you can move on to the next thing. So they've done a little bit to integrate a story, which was pretty fun. Nothing too crazy to it. It was pretty quick and easy to complete. The fun of the game is just diving into these matches and playing in the 4 verse one playing as a ghost, playing as a Ghostbuster. Ultimately, upgrading your Proton Pack, there's different things you can do when it comes to upgrading your Proton Pack, your Trap. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of customization, and I hope with the updates, they add even more customization to it. But right now, the game does lack a bit in content. If there's anything that I can fault this game for, it is that it's a bit short on the content with only five maps. And, you know, you can do quite a bit with your Ghostbuster as far as character crea creation, modeling it how you want, dressing it up. I was pretty surprised with how much there was in that. But ultimately, we need more maps, we need more ghosts. And I'm looking forward to see what more they drop. I can't recommend this game more to you guys. I think it's a, it's a blast, and I really want to build the community on it, which is why I wanted to do this review. I wanted to put it out there that this is a fun game. You will have a lot of enjoyment in it. Uh, I'm certain with this studio, with Ilphonic, that they will continue to drop a ton of free content to it, and the game will continue to grow from here. And I want the community to grow. I don't want this community to die. I, I, I really want it to build... A long, healthy, sustainable community within this game. And that's really why I wanted to talk to you guys about this game. I think it's an absolute blast. I don't have any footage of my own for you guys. I'll probably have some trailer footage in this video with my uh, commentary on this. Uh, I'm still working out the kinks on getting some uh, video game footage for you guys when I do some of these reviews. So that's something I'm going to work out. But other than that, you guys, let me know if you've played the game. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the game. If you haven't played it, uh, please go on and check it out. If you guys want to play with me on this game, my uh, gamer tag on the Xbox is Ghost Inside X. Uh, I was a huge fan of Ghost Inside, the band, back in the day, so it actually has nothing to do with Ghostbusters, but it's kind of funny. The, the name works when it comes to uh, playing this game. But yes, it is Ghost Inside X. That is my gamer tag on uh, Xbox, so if you guys want to join in and play with me, would absolutely love to. Send me a friend invite or whatever, and uh, we'll get playing some Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed. But you guys, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Until next time, peace. Keep on trying